Hello everyone and welcome to this week's game development log video diary and this week I've done a bit more work on mobs, a little bit of work on the entity editor and of course made the whole world look a bit more Christmassy. So the first thing that I did this week was to add this flickering effect to light sources to make the light produced by fire look a little bit more realistic. This effect can be set in the entity editor's light component. To turn on the effect you just have to click here and then you can set how much the light flickers with lower values representing a more rapid flickering. Also in the entity editor this week I added a couple of new components for mobs. Animated entities can now have the patroller AI component which just gives them the simple AI that the bears had in the game last week but in the future there will be a load of different AI components to choose from and you'll be able to set all of the different parameters for them to give mobs a wide range of different behaviours. And finally I also added this health bar component here which allows you to give an entity a health bar. And here you can choose the entity's profile picture, the entity's name and also its maximum health. If we have a look at this in game, you can see that whenever you now look at one of these entities, you can see that its profile appears at the top here with the name, profile picture and health bar. And that is pretty much the last of all of the updates that I've added to the game this year. Just one year ago, this was what the game looked like. Since then, all of the inventory and equip interface functionality was added, shops were brought into the game as well as the first multiplayer auction system. I added the material system for weapons and then health bars in March. Then the basic combat system was added, along with the first mobs, ranged attacks and food. And then in May, the rendering engine was completely overhauled and the game started using the new and improved engine. And after that, I added a load more graphical features like skyboxes, water, particle effects and also sound and music. Then of course there was the whole dev kit, the switch over to a component based architecture and finally the actual release of the dev kit. And that brings us up to now where it's no longer just me working alone on this game but I am now working with a whole load of awesome people who have been creating so many awesome models, textures and sound effects for the game and the names of everyone who is now involved with the project can be found in the description of this video. So I just want to talk a bit about what's going to be happening in the next year because it's going to be a pretty important year for this project. Those of you who have been following my devlogs for a while now will know that I've been working full time on the development of this game since June of this year and I'm going to continue doing that for the first half of next year as well. In January I'm hopefully going to be releasing the world editor so that the creation of the world can begin and I'll also be working on redoing the animation system in preparation for the new combat system. I'm then going to spend about a month working on improving the weapon and armor system to allow for enchanting items, to allow you to alter and add bits to weapon and I'll also be adding support for weapons emitting particle effects. So all of this will hopefully make weapons and armor very customizable and awesome and then I'm going to spend two or three months working on a new and exciting combat system with loads of new animations and particle effects and everything else that I can get in there. But after that it will unfortunately become financially impossible for me to continue working full time on the game and so in either June or July of next year I'm going to have to do some sort of crowdfunding campaign, probably Kickstarter. So that's something that I'm pretty excited if not a little bit terrified about because the outcome of that is pretty much going to determine whether or not the development of this game will be able to continue. Uh, so that's going to be a pretty important part of the coming year. I'll probably be spending one or two months next year just preparing for that campaign. I'm going to have to improve the graphics a bit, add a few more gameplay features in there, probably do a lot of PR stuff I'm sure. Uh, but hopefully with the help of all of you guys and everyone else who is involved with this project, we might just be able to pull it off. But we'll have to wait and see, there's a load of work to be done before I can even start thinking about all of that, so uh, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on in the next year. But that is going to be it for this week and for this year. I just want to give a massive thank you to everyone involved in this project, you're all amazing and I'm so excited to see what we're going to achieve with the game in the next year. I also want to thank all of you guys for watching these videos and for all of the support that you give me because it really really helps to keep me motivated so thank you all so much for that. 
but yeah, that is it for this year. Thank you guys so, so much. I hope you all have an amazing time over Christmas, and I will see you all in the new year. <laughs>